Inside every journey of life, there are all these other little journeys. Sometimes we always think we know what we're, where we're going, but what, what really I've discovered is that the, uh, the entire journey through life is made up entirely of detours, unexpected turns, um, dead ends. You put all those together and that's our actual journey. It's a very zigzagging path. Straight lines do not exist in nature. It's a, it's a mathematical fact. Everything's a serpentine path. It's a zigzagging path and that's the way life is. The, the book is themed around the journey. Or is the book part of the journey? <laughs> Possibly, at least it was for me. So that's why I thought that the, using this journey literally in the literature itself was uh, actually worked pretty well as a vehicle. When I think about the context of what Cleveland represents and Cincinnati represents and how they are essentially literally and figuratively anchors in my past, my present, my future, all these things, uh, my childhood began in Cleveland. You know, my, my children's hood is Cincinnati. Um, and then I thought, well, there's actually a, a road that connects the two of them, and I'm going up and down that for most of my life. And even though it looks like a straight line on the map, it's really a zigzagging, ongoing journey that uh, fortunately has never stopped and has connected and brought me to and from some of the most important things in my life. I'm working for Ziggy, basically. His job was to be there every day for people, um, to deal with uh, tough things in life every day, day after day, but still be Ziggy. By not giving up, by not folding up shop or curling up in a ball, he ends up inspiring people. All of a sudden, I realized this strange, fat, goofy-looking little guy with the big nose and no hair has a lot to say and actually needs me as much as I need him. Ziggy did save my life in more ways than one. It started with some journaling from a very difficult period in time. I was in a place, and everything was very fresh, where death had become a reality to my life. When something's completely taken away from you, something extremely powerful and important to you, a relationship like that ends, it becomes everything to you and you have to, you, you, you scrounge to dig and find out wh where are all these things I missed? Where is this? I, I need more of it. I wasn't ready to give this up yet. I want to find all those nuggets that I just passed by without looking, and I did. And I don't know if they call that soul searching or what. So it took me back to the beginnings. Uh, it took me back to a childhood where I grew up with this amazing father who did these amazing things. And, and looking at, and even that process brought back things that I had always known but had forgotten for so long. If you, you want to know where you are or where you're going, you have to look at where you've been. I had to look back and realize that to see this process, to see everything, one thing leading to another, to look at all the detours I took along my life to see where, where I was today, it helped give me a place to start from moving forward. Well, I'd say it's a very voyeuristic look, but um, it's, it's, it's one that I welcome people to examine. It deals with grief. But it deals with so many other things. Maybe the things in the book are a little more intangible than, say, grief or getting back into life when, you know, life leaves you. I would call this a creation that hopefully will inspire an inspirational book. It's a memoir. That's what it is. It's a book about things I went through, um, trying to make sense for myself. And it, as it turns out, I think there's a lot of truths and discoveries that I came across that I think other people might find too through this book and it might help them deal with or come across their own truths. The funny thing about trying to get the big picture is when you're start, starting from a specific spot 
and it's everything's very dark around you, it doesn't expand in one direction. And so you go backwards and you go forwards in all directions at the same time. And I realized to trace some of these feelings and thoughts and, and understandings I was getting, I was going backwards at the same time I was going forwards and upwards and downwards and inward and outward. It's no straight line. You feel like you're going nowhere or you are, you end up nowhere, you're still somewhere. And uh, you have to remember the big picture of the thing. Even when you don't recognize your surroundings, even when you feel lost, you're, you're in a certain place. And that place is a part of a bigger place. And that's a good way to get your bearings and just kind of say, okay, there's still more of the journey left.